everyone welcome back to Amore Fabrics this is video six and we're gonna be doing um, the vintage brown saris I'm gonna show you those I'm gonna flip through all those but those who haven't seen any of the other videos I'm doing a vintage sari sale for only $19 if you're new here hi hello this is a uh, I would I wouldn't call it a craft channel but I don't get the craft as much I sell vintage crafty items that um, are unique um, and vintage from around the world either if it's fabrics or if it's ephemera um, I do my best to find these really cool unique things for you guys well today um, I'm doing vintage sari sale usually when I get into a stock of the saris that I don't cut for packs in the shop I offer these sales um, for my customers who are looking to who provide them with a, a sari that is complete and full. That is not cut. <laughs> Some people say, how can you cut these things? Well, you know, there are a lot of crafters out there who are fiber artists who really um, use it for doll art, junk journaling, quilting, fiber artists pretty much, rug hooking. Um, gosh, there are so many different things. It's just amazing to me. And um, so I'm glad I'm able to provide that. But all in all, I mean, in the stock, I usually are the ones that I really don't want to cut because they're really unique, very different, heavily embroidered or heavily beaded like these browns I'm going to show you today. Again, they're only $19. If you haven't seen videos one through five, um, you can go up there to videos in my YouTube channel and you can look them over. Either way, down below is the direct links to all the colors I am showing that are available for $19 for this daily deal sale for the Sari sale. And it, when you click on those links, they will take you to a listing that will show you each and every one I'm showing you. As you can see here, I have tagged each one with a letter. So when I show you each and every one of these at the table today, which I'm doing brown next, you can see them. And then when you go to that link down below for that color, it will take you straight to that listing um, to where you'll see the actual photo of the ones that you want in the letter next to it. All right, so now that being said, for the fifth time on the fifth video, for <laughs> those who are watching every video, you're gonna be like fast forwarding this part. <laughs> so, the sorry sell, they're only $19, full and complete. Um, you get free shipping if you buy two or more, United States only. And then I'm giving away free gift bags, these embroidered gift bags. You get to choose one. Um, you just tell me which color you want uh, when you check out. Or if you don't tell me, I just randomly pick you one out, which they're adorable gift bags. They're embroidered with some pearl, cute little gift bags. Um, so that being said, I'm going to grab this pile of, of browns, which if you're into beads, sequins, and heavily applique, these are that. Same thing with purple. Purple is going to be the next video. That would be video number seven, I think. Yes, because this is video six. That's video seven. And then I'm done with the sorry sale videos. And you, for those who are wondering why in the world am I doing so many videos, well, I could have done one video, but that one video would have been over two hours long. And for those who just only want a certain color sorry, you'd have to scroll and fast forward through a video to find that color. So in this case, I'm just doing each video by each color. So then it saves you guys a lot of work. Is it more work for me? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of videos, a lot of uploading and a lot of repeating myself, but it's okay because I want you to be able to have this good deal. You can understand what's going on and make it easy and convenient for you. So again, like I said, down below is the direct links to what you're needing. If you have any questions, just message me. Now, these vintage saris, for those who want to know before I start showing the browns, and if you haven't heard any other videos, each vintage sari is about a yard wide and uh, approximately two yards long. If you need that in inches, that is 36 inches wide by 72 inches long. A lot of these are longer and wider, but that is the, the average is what I'm trying to give you. Um, so at least you know that and now I can go ahead and I can grab these for you guys and let's go check out these beautiful browns. Okay, I hope you guys can see this. Letter A has sold. Like I said in the other videos, before I even do these videos, these sell. So whenever time I go to my shop and I make these listings before I post these videos, a lot of times people who follow know when a sorry sale comes up, they start buying them before I even could show them. So um, if you do like something that you see today, you might want to go ahead and go on over there and grab it because usually once it's shown it sells fast and I want to be able to give you this great deal and get the one that you want without you feeling disappointed. Now again, brown saris are very hard to find. 
and the pile that I have here is a big pile and I'm so glad I'm able to share them. Another bonus to the brown saris is that these saris are the most heavily beaded, heavily sequenced, and they're heavy and they're beautifully done. And so if you get a brown one, you get a great deal, especially since they're only $19. And um, if you're a person who's looking for the blingy um, and that kind of thing, this is for you. So the letter B here is beautifully done. And same thing with C. C has a lot more like beaded uh, accents than it does sequins and rhinestones. But B, what's really cool about B, you guys have probably seen it in the other colors, it's the same design. It has these beautiful giant, whoops, get in the center here, um, appliques throughout with the beautiful, I don't know if you see this purple velvet. Now that purple velvet, it's like these, this what you see here is all the way throughout the entire center. See there's another one, there's another one, there's another one. Gosh guys, only $19. I mean, these are just amazing. So that is the letter B. There's, I mean, it's just, if whoever gets this one's gonna get a great deal. It's, it's beautiful. Letter C, same thing. It's just heavily beaded. <laughs> I wish I can uh, have all the time in the world to open up every one of them, because it's amazing the handwork that is done in this, and the sew machine work on some of them. Um, but you can see these appliques are just heavily beaded. Look at that. So that is B and that is C and it made a mess. <laughs> I'm gonna go on to the next one. All right, here is the letter D, which is upside down. Now this one here, the letter D is um, not chiffon and the letter E is not chiffon either. The last two that you've seen is chiffon. Like here, example, letter C. This is a ch ch chiffon fabric. Now the letter D and E is like, um, I call it netting, but I would say tooling. There, maybe that you would understand tooling. Because if I see, if I put my hand underneath here, you can see my hand. It's got like a tooling, like see-through look. But all the appliques are heavily done. Now the letter E, you've seen the same design over there. But this one has got a different color of green instead. If you like greens instead of purples, this has got that green velvet design on it. Um, again, it is throughout the entire thing heavily beaded. The letter D, the design's different. You haven't seen that one. This is like a reddish brown, if that makes sense. Um, and it has these beaded throughout the, the middle. And at the bottoms, it's got this, this pattern here. Again, it's tooling as well, but there's the appliques. All right, just in case, so you guys need to know again. I hope I lost my letter here. There's the letter E, and I lost my letter. <laughs> oh, D. <laughs> The letter D, yeah, I'm getting it for you guys. I'm having a sloppy day today, I'm sorry. I'm like getting very sloppy. Letter D, letter E, guys. I'm gonna go on to the next ones. All right, here's the letter F, and here is the letter G, and my thing's moving, I'm sorry. Now these are also um, chiffon fabrics, definitely embroidered heavy at the bottom. Um, the letter G is more of a brownish uh, green, the letter F is like more of a reddish brown. And I hope you guys can see that. It's one good reason why we have them side by side here. Maybe that would help show you the different tones of brown. A greenish brown, um, and that's like a reddish brown. But um, F, again, there's no beads on these, but it's got like definitely uh, applique throughout on both of these. Oh wait, now this one here, the letter G, does have a beaded trim bottom. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I could, you can hear it. And then hopefully you can see it here in the video. Here we go. See that beads uh, trim at the entire bottom. All right, I made another mess. So here's F and there's G. Let's go on to the next one. All right, this is the letter I and this is the letter J. Uh, J has beads throughout and um, rhinestones and sequins throughout here. And I'm gonna lift this up to you here in a minute. I is nothing but embroidered. You can see here, this is gonna have this design going out down throughout the entire center, throughout the whole center. Again, if you guys wanna see a better view of these, you'll see a picture in the listing down below when you click under browns. Um, and if you need more photos, just message me and I'll open them up and I will send you a longer version. And even if you want a measurement per each one, just message me. I can do that for you. Just um, just do it quick because 
I, I apologize if they sell fast. Um, I try to keep it as affordable as possible. Here is Jay again. It's got the different like rhinestones and stuff. And even here in the center, you got these little, little guys with the little rhinestones here. Very simple, yet still very elegant at the same time. That is J. On to the next one. Okay, here is the letter K. Here is the letter L. This is a deep, dark chocolate. L is like a deep, dark chocolate uh, brown. And it is, talk about heavily beaded. I don't know if you could hear it, but I'm going to show you guys here a close-up in a minute. But this is all sequ hand-stitched sequence, beaded, rhinestones. It's just, uh, just amazing. You guys seen this design already, um, but it's just a different, like a tone of brown. That has got like the tooling, like I told you. This one here is chiffon. And look at, you can see how this letter K is definitely heavily beaded um, throughout just absolutely gorgeous. L, oh my gosh. I mean, I have, I've not seen nothing like this one. This one is just, you could hear it. It's throughout, it's got this beading. Oh, if I can open it up the best way I can. It's got these beaded, like, I mean, throughout the whole thing. And I'll lift up a corner to show you. Look at this. Gosh, $19, guys. Can you believe it? I mean, these are stitched. And it's just all that work, all that detail. That is the letter L, guys. Okay, here's the letter M, and here's the letter N. Now these both have tooling. This is like a reddish brown. This is definitely a, a brown brown with green accents. They both have like an iridescent, I don't know if you can see the iridescent look in that fabric. They both are a tooling type fabric, where you can see my hands right through it. This one here is like a reddish, tone to it. You've seen this design already um, in the other ones in the past. It's got the purple velvet in this one with the different um, tones of purples. So purples, beiges, and um, that's beautiful. This one here is definitely just unique too. Can you see that design? And at the bottom base is this beautiful burgundy greens, um, beiges, browns, it's just definitely pretty. So there's M and N for you guys. I'm gonna go to the next ones. Okay, here is O and here is P. O is like, um, I would say like a orangey brown. And then this is definitely a good definition of just what a regular brown would be like. Browns and golds, sequence and appliques for the letter P. And you have this throughout the top and the bottom. And O here is got like the silver, beige, and actually a tint of green in it, uh, which is really pretty throughout. On to the next ones. Okay, here's the last two. This letter R is silk. This is a beautiful like grandmother's like scarf kind of silk, very lofty. It's got this cute little red fringe here at the bottom. And it's got, this is like a very bohemian type of design. Um, at the very bottom of this scarf and the center is very simple. Look at that beautiful brown. Isn't that pretty? I could totally see actually using this for going out um, as a wrap or something. It's just definitely delicate and soft. The letter Q is definitely different than the mall. It is a chiffon center as you can see here and it does have like a two-tone going on here. I don't know if you can see that the different leaves inside that pattern if I, as I move the fabric. Um, and at the bottom, it is embroidered with sequins, the different design down there at the bottom. Hope you guys love that. We're on the purple on the last video next, guys.